<clears throat> Hello everybody, welcome back. Training every single day. Working on today I did some flares, some uh a couple you'll see what I do. I got it all recorded for you and it's come out real nice. So I like to tell you that you become what you think about. This is a strange argument, not even strange, but this is just a argument for optimism and not neglecting the powers of your own thoughts. Uh, scientifically, they know about the placebo effect. And just thinking positively, you can, uh, even non-scientifically, they have, you know, law of attraction and <clears throat> all this kind of new age mani manifesting type things. So just, you become what you think about. So think about the best likely outcome is what I think is best to do for yourself and for training and athletics specifically visualize going through your whatever skills or movements you want to improve at so for me I visualize flares and backflips and as well as uh, some new concepts like uh the, some moves that i haven't even unlocked yet like uh double air chair and things like that uh, back to the scientific perspective they've done several studies with you know people visualizing uh, basketball shots and they improve so uh, visualizing and rehearsing mentally movements definitely will improve that movement pattern that you're visualizing it's just spending some amount of time training the uh, physical adaptations in the muscles and the structures of your body might not be so pronounced, but neurologically, like the brain and the pattern of movement does get refined. And I think we should ext extrapolate that into other things. You should think that you're going to be healthy to promote health. You should think that people have good intentions and not be cynical and you'll get those things in return. It's obviously not magic. You're not going to have thought powers that you think uh, people like you and everyone's going to like you if you don't deserve it. But it does show itself outside of your conscious awareness. Because most of your mind isn't actually conscious. It is a lot of the things that you know, this might be kind of a Western philosophy, but, you know, like the blood flows through your veins and your immune system and your nails grow without having to think about it. But your subconscious and genetic uh, abilities do that itself. And other people have subconscious abilities to read and read into your own mind. They People have some certain amount of psychic ability where you can kind of read what someone's thinking just by looking at them most of the time, not 100% all the time. So if you think positively, that if you think that people like you, you'll act in a way that people will end up liking you more. It's, come, it's about being confident. Confident in outcomes that you'll want to happen. you got to be confident that you'll be healthy and that will in turn improve your health. If you're a bit older, you need to undo some of that mental blockage that you're too old, you're too stiff, you can't move that the the, ter the sands of time have buried you so deep that you can't move supplely again. I, I, I uh, heard a recent story about how a bunch of elderly people were told just to imagine and pretend that they were young again, and people just noticed them just, just being better. Their joints loosened up. They ended up moving around and having a lot more fun. Personally, I don't like to get tied down with any one uh, core of thought. I don't like to get too caught up into science or too caught up into uh, religion or any of that. I think it, you got to take the – Bruce Lee says is take what is useful and reject what is not. You just got to take it all together and to form your own kind of mental model that works the best. I think science is very new and very slow. Um, a lot of the – you know, spiritual, religious, uh, mystic kind of traditions are old, uh, tested, and might not be as reliable 
as some of science, but I think science is too new, really only being about 300 years old, and I'd say it's only as good as the, as the internet was old to being effective. So that each one has their own kind of benefit, and you just gotta take them together. So in turn, just visualize uh, success for yourself and visualize peace for yourself because uh, if you want to have peace in the world, you got to start with finding peace within yourself. Because if you can't find peace within yourself, you're not going to be able to contribute to a greater peace for others. So just visualize the best for yourself. And after you can do that, visualize the best for other people and for everyone. And let uh, some of the more powerful uh, works, like your subconscious mind, which has a lot more power than your conscious, and directs uh, both of them kind of the same. It's getting near the end, so thanks for uh, all you guys liking and subscribing and commenting and sharing. It uh, really helps, so thanks for all that. Uh, now I'm just kind of into the stretching section, where I do the stretching in my video, or in the training videos that I've recorded for you. So take some inspiration, find your own movement patterns, your own movement styles. And I'll see you in later ones. So I recorded a little bit more for you. Stick around to the end. And I'll see you in the next video. And you'll see me training. Bye-bye. See you later.